like, share, subscribe. Um, yeah, I want to say my opinion on um, um, Kevin Durant and um, Kyrie choosing to stay one more year. That's why I think it's going to be one more year. But I already knew they was coming back. Um, he, he, the thing is, Kevin Durant didn't have no places to go. And they, they tried every move to get him to um the move. Like, the, it's really not on, um, like they were saying, it wasn't on Kevin Durant to choose where he wanted to go because he signed the contract for the extension. Brooklyn Nets already knew they couldn't um, get no, nothing better for him. Who they could have got? Nobody. That's why they didn't never um, trade him because they, they couldn't trade him for another superstar. Then they end up losing him. And end up losing on um, Kyrie for for what? It's all this is is for enough time for them to see who they can get for them. That's all it is. But um, but Kevin Durant need that. Uh, he needed to come back to the team. Like I said in the other video, like if he if he went left and went to another team. It been bad for 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 his career. They already he he already been hopping from team to team. This was your only chance to prove that you can win on your own team. And this was the only time he could have chose. If he went to another team, I mean other another team, he would have. Been playing for another team that's somebody else's team. If he went to Jason Tatum, um, to the Celtics, it had been his team, but he came on the roster of what Jason Tatum was building with Jalen Brown. It wouldn't have been no good for him. They still been had that same narrative that he can't he can't win, um, by himself. You always gotta go on another team. And um, win somebody else's championship. Ain't gonna never be his championship. That was the good move. That that was the best move. It was entertaining with the media hyping it up and him hyping up and Kyrie. But um, I'm just ready for basketball to start. I just been. Watching highlights, but uh, the um, Brooklyn Nets, they um, they some contenders. Do I think they better in the butts still? No. They still got to beat the butts. No, they got to beat the butts. They got to beat the um, Celtics. Those is the two high contenders of... Um, going farther into the playoffs. They got to beat those two teams. If they can't beat them, you might should forget about it because they've been losing to Giannis for a long time. They they got re beat real bad last year about by um, the Celtics with Jason Tatum. It, it's sad. And then the whole time they've been injured. They need to work on their bodies and get stronger and start trying to find ways to not get injured on the court. That's what's been hindering their squad, too, and all the um, controversy with um, the players on finding excuses not to play because they don't really want to play. Because they probably trying to get their body time to not um, get hurt again, but they end up still getting hurt anyway. So you might should take the effort and just get on the court and play the hardest you can and make the money you can. Because we already know it, it's not promised for them to be in the league that long. It's a blessing to make all that money and be famous for just dribbling the basketball. But um, 
My next video, I'm going to be talking about who I think going to win next year. Now, I ain't, ain't, I ain't going to need to talk about that, but the, the point, I'm going to make a video in the future of my pick of next year who I think going to win. But um, like, share, subscribe, and I'm out.